It's Friday night. Cook with Kip after dark. It's that time, man, to uh, do some cooking, have a cocktail, and enjoy some good conversation with y'all. Hope you've been having a good week. Uh, it's Friday, man. It's time for the weekend. It's time to relax. It's time to watch a little baseball. Time to watch some football. Uh, time to hang out with your family. And uh, Sunday, we'll, we'll, we'll thank God for this week. That's cool. All right. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. So we're going to do um, a little crab dip tonight. An appetizer. Some blue crab some artichoke, um, of course some cheese, and uh, make up a little crab dip and then make some little crostinis real quick to go with it. That's cool? That's cool. All right, let's get let's get it going and get it done, right? All right, I'm going to say hi to a few people. Hello, Helda Artsy Leak. Happy Friday evening. Hello, Karen Cunningham, Shirley Turner, Donna Woods, um, Vanessa Thomas, Denise Ferrer. We're doing a hot spinach dip. Is that what you just called it, baby? Uh, just an artichoke lobster dip. Artichoke crab dip. Artichoke. I did say lobster. <laughs> Blue crab artichoke dip. All right. Yes. Hello, Tia Sanders Green. It's going into the oven. Okay. Karen Williams, Cleo Burroughs, Candy Minix Copeland. Thank y'all so much for joining in. Um, Come in, relax. We're going to show you a great recipe for the upcoming gatherings that are about to happen. If you like artichoke, spinach, and crab, stay tuned. There you go. All right. So I got some artichoke hearts. These are canned. I bought a 14-ounce can of artichoke. And I'm just going to rough chop them. And, uh, and get them ready to go into the dip. Hello, artichoke is kind of a kind of a neutral item. It has kind of a neutral flavor, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, don't bring a lot of flavor to the table, but it has some yes. kind of. I call it kind briny. of umami yes. or briny, briny. A good, yeah. I love a good artichoke now. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna cut them. I got different size pieces that I'm cutting, um, but I got about you know. A little less than a pound, so 14 ounce can. So that I don't, no, I don't know about the weight of that. I shouldn't say. Yeah. Well, that's, that's probably the, the weight. Okay. So, uh, so the RT Nick said you sharp the knife. Oh, thank you. Not the knife for me. You sharp. You <laughs> sharp tonight. All right. Hello, so Danielle and I. The artichoke cut up. I'm gonna put about. So I got a 14 ounce can of artichoke. Mm -hmm. Got a half a cup of mayo. Half a cup of sour cream, an eight ounce block, a half a pound of cream cheese, mm -hmm. softened. Um, I just put in some spinach. I had a big thing of spinach, so I sauteed it down a little bit, just um, broke it down a little bit in, in a saute skillet. Um, probably after cook, probably about a half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup. And, and you uh, know how spinach dwindles down. Yeah. Yes. And then I got a pound of, uh, of crab meat. Okay. And a couple of cups of cheese. It's a mixture of uh, Monterey Jack, Asiago. Um, I think I'm going to throw a little parm in there. These well. are the cheeses. Okay. And everybody knows a good, hot, cheesy dip um, will go well with a group of people or just a date night yeah. meal. Hey, Jakia Key. Uh, Cassandra right, so Harding I'm Hooks. Get a bowl. Hey, Mary Bell. Martha Jones Scarborough. And basically put uh, the cheeses in first. Hey, Danette Mance. Sis, I hope you are well. So I got the uh, half a pound of cheese. And that's the cream cheese. Yeah. So cream cheese can be sometimes... Uh, we got to put some more whip in. Danielle, big, you need to try you a, uh, a good artichoke. You will not be disappointed. I just had it. Oh, here it is. So in the so bowl, I'm gonna the take cream the cheese. cream cheese and kind of break it down a little bit. It's already softened. So you leave this at room temperature. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna put in the uh, sour cream. Gail Moore said, "What are we drinking?" That Napa. The Napa Valley uh, Chardonnay. All right. Um, Napa Cellars is the name of the vineyard. Okay. Um, hey, Vicky Spencer. I chose the Chardonnay tonight. 
Because of the crab, be honest with you. It goes well with crab. It goes good with the dip. Okay. So, Hello, Renita Boyd. Half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayo. Mayo of your choice, sour cream of your choice, whatever you like. You whatever can make you it. Like. You can make the mayonnaise, you can buy the mayonnaise, you can do Hellman's, you can do Duke's, you can do Kraft, <laughs> you can do store brand. Hey, Cheryl E. Smith. But just put some in there. Okay, so got those in. So I, got, we're I got a few, uh, a few different. Whip this up a little bit. Okay, so sour cream, cream cheese, and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the base. We're doing a hot spinach and crab dip. Of course, you could you could do this with a mixer. Yes, you can do this with a mixer. That's it right there, Danny and Ted. Thank you. So much. All right, so. The spices that I'm putting in, well, there's a few things I'm putting in. Okay. If I'm going to have crab, me personally, I got to have some Old Bay, Old Bay spices. That's right. I got a little whiskey shear. I have, I could use that garlic for something else. Okay. I got a little bit of liquid crab ball because if I'm having crab, I got to have some liquid crab ball. And you, <laughs> can, you can either use limes or lemons. Okay, some type of citrus. I'm a I'm a lime kind of person. Hello, Elizabeth Gillian. I like lime, so we're gonna use some lime juice in mine. But you welcome to use lemon juice. Yes. And my preference is uh, use real lemons or real real limes. Not the, the stuff juice. that come in that bottle. That's just my opinion. You don't have to follow my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that stuff. It'll work, but chef don't like it. First of all, I don't know when they squeeze those lemons and those limes <laughs> and how long they've been in that bottle. Gotcha, sir. That's just my opinion. Okay. Hello, Mary, Mary Martin. I've never met a fresh lime that I didn't like either. That's right. Same. Okay. Uh, where's my squeeze? I just had it. Oh, here it is. So we're going to put a uh, couple of squeezes. Of lime juice. Lime juice in there. So this is the base of the artichoke, of the dip. crab, and spinach dip. Yeah. So I'm putting two lemons in there. Two limes. Two limes. I can't get it right, huh? I probably need some rest or something, huh? Oh, <laughs> I, you know what? I need some more grape juice in me. <laughs> so you can get the rest. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can get the rest, huh? Okay, so there's two limes right there. Yes. I stand in agreement with you, Kip, on that one. With the real juice versus the bottle. Yeah. Juice, that's Donna Lewis Williams. Hey, sis. Hey, Cleo Burrows. Miranda, why you mad? Oh. All right. So Elizabeth said, take a sip, Kip. I am. <laughs> Thank you. All that, that's all I needed was some encouragement. <laughs> hey, William Brown. Good evening. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of Old Bay. I think I I'm saw Michael about, Don Hayes, too. Hey, about, brother. About a tablespoon. Okay. That's that Old Bay. Old Bay. And the, and the liquid crab ball, you can't get too aggressive with that. Okay. I'm going to put probably like a half a teaspoon. It's going to be hot, y'all. <laughs> I ain't scared. It ain't going to be hot. Liquid crab ball. Is that optional? That's optional. Because the Old Bay is all the the, 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 the Cajun seafood season. Please these, take a sip because I just did. Who took a sip? Then it. Hey, uh, Ben Carter. <laughs> these are optional because these are things that I just, I like. Yes, okay. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of salt, just a so to your liking, okay. your taste. So the old bay already has some salt in it, so I'm not gonna be overly out there, although somebody might think I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're gonna put a little bit of the uh of the whiskey share. A couple of dashes of the whiskey share. Elizabeth says it's gonna be hot, hot. Gilmore no, said it ain't gonna be hot, hot. How you doing, Gilmore? It's just another put a little sweat on your head. Have you ever uh met a wine you didn't like? <laughs> I have met some wines I didn't like. But I still hang out with them. <laughs> oh, with my drums, by the bean. <laughs> All right. We're going to take the artichoke. So he chopped up some artichokes earlier, if you're just joining. So it's the artichoke. Kind of rough chop, because I want them to be big. Why, baby? Because that's the way you like them. That's the way I like them. Yeah, I like the like texture. The yeah. yes. You can dice them up a little smaller if the texture is not. We're going to get rid of that. That whisk. Okay. Now it's time to mix. Yeah. Mayonnaise, sour cream, cream cheese, seasoning, 
fresh squeezed lime juice. I'm cooking curd chicken salad and also curd right. chicken and brown rice. And I'm going um, to start off with about a cup of the cheese, of that mixture of cheese. They can say I took too many sips at the Earth, Wind, and Fire show last night. I'm, I'm she clear. She went to CEW? She on IV Fluids today. She went to CEWF? <laughs> so he mixed, it, he mixed in a mixture yeah. of shredded cheeses that you shredded? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And same thing with cheeses. If you put in cheeses on top of something. Mm -hmm. No, I take that back. If you're making a sauce, mm -hmm. you want to shred your own cheese. Hey, the Rolex. Versus... Buying cheese in a bag. If you're That's making a shredded. sauce, because if shredded cheese is in a bag, it has a powder on it um, that keeps it from sticking together. Caking, yes. The caking subject, yeah, de, uh, de caking or whatever, keep mm -hmm. it from caking up, right. from sticking together, uh, which prevents your your cheese sauce from being as smooth. If it's going in this, it would be fine, but I still prefer the great cheese. Myself. Great cheese. Yeah. Um, Tammins, we are making spinach and artichoke. With crab dip. There okay, is so we're going to take, take the spinach that I sauteed up. Now, I didn't chop it up at all. I just sauteed it down. Hey, Charlotte Ware, Regina Jarman. And it'll break down itself. Okay. All I think right. I can put everything in there. And just because... What's that, kill? I got to put a little hot sauce, baby. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Donna said that's a great tip, kill. Don't use the packaged cheese when you're making a sauce because it won't be as smooth there as you shredding go. it yourself. There you go. Hey, Rita Bryant. All right. So there you go. So I got to, everything in there is, there's no raw, there's no eggs, none of that stuff. So what I'm going to do now. What's up, my Ron Chase? I need to taste it to make sure my flavors are on point. We're making some hot spinach, artichoke, and crab dip. So let's taste this. Myron said crab is expensive for the kid. It is expensive. <laughs> you frown when you say that, babe. It's probably, I probably paid ten, $10 more today for the pound than I've been paying. You, you thought about it being just artichoke and spinach dip. Yeah, dip. I really did. I know. <laughs> I say we... We ain't doing no crab in this. But he did the crab for y'all. So we're going to put a little tad more salt. Tammy said, your brother said, you ain't got no chicken in there, bro. <laughs> What's up? Ain't no chicken in this one, Doc. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so that's so hot sauce. And what else you sprinkled? That was Old Bay. Some, a little bit more. Some more Old Bay. Okay. Yeah. I had a little bit more salt too. First time it. tuning in, and I love me some okay. crab. Thank you, Kathy so, Junk. I got a good creamy consistency right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to decide what dish I want to use. Okay. Give me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with this versus this one. But I don't know if that one's deep enough. So, you want to get, um, he's trying to decide which dish to use. Which one is deeper? I think I'm going with this one. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. If we have a little... I can always stop if it get too full, huh? If we have a little extra, we'll work it out. I want it, you know, I want it kind of at the top. Okay. Yeah, I think, this, I think we went with the right one. All right. Oh, shoot. What? That's all right. I'm going to take it out, guys. All right. I was debating about that bowl. And you forgot to spray it. I didn't spray it. All right. We got to spray the pan. Everybody? Because I was debating about that bowl. and the, uh, Well, not bowl, but the vessel that I was going to put it in. So we're going to wash this out. And spraying the pan just ensures that your dip is going to come out. Yeah. I don't want to just stick it all to the bottom. It probably would be fine, but I'm going to spray it. You're going to mix the crab in or put it on top, baby? I'm going to put, put the crab in the middle. Okay, and then and layer. Then layer some more on top. Of okay, it. so he's gonna layer the crab meat in there. Thank you for the question, Tanya Morris Crockett. Hey, Gwen Slaughter Pounds. Eleni, ja Ella, Ella, is it Elona Jackson Hinton? Thank you. All right, so let's start over. Okay, let's start Come over. Give me all that. Elizabeth Gillian said, making seafood gumbo tomorrow. Got the shrimp and the crab meat today. Needed a loan to buy the crab meat. Ooh, we going to have to get us a boat in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to manufacture my own crab. Hey, Deborah Dunbar. Thank All you right. for joining. So, so we sprayed the pan. 
All right, so we're going to try this again. Okay. Kip, do you ever, have you ever made clam dip? That's I have never more. made clam dip. I've made a clam pasta, but never a dip. Okay. I think I chose the right vessel. You think you chose the right one? So yeah. we'll, we'll bake that other one up later. Okay, so... We're so put some crab meat in there. He's layering the crab meat. Thank you for the stars down the Fluids, Williams. And I'm not breaking up too much. Yeah, ain't no need in being stingy. The stuff costs so much. We're going we gonna to put some in there. We, we want to know what's in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Angie Johnson from know Houston. It's, it's in there, so there goes some crab meat. I may save a little bit make a little omelet in the morning for breakfast. What you say? Hey, hey, That's bad. enough then. Put the bowl down. <laughs> <laughs> Vic and Spencer, I have not had the seafood in Tunica. At one of them um, casinos. I know it's casinos in Tunica, All Mississippi. Right. So he's putting some more of the mixture on top of the crab meat. cheese on top of it as Okay. Well. This is going to be a creamy, buttery deliciousness. Mm-hmm. I got gout. I can't eat any seafoods. All right. Oh, Kathy Lord. Johnson said, my Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was uh, Diane that gout Wallace. Get you you got to get that gout. Kill. <laughs> Don't let it catch uh, it, Patricia Sargent. Did you keep the can? The crab meat came in? It's over there on that table. Actually, this came from Sam's. It's over there in that bag, baby. That Publix bag. Okay, it came from okay. Sam's? Yeah, it came from Sam's. All right. Thank you for the stars, it brother. It be like 22 bucks. 18, 19 bucks. Now it's like 27, 28 bucks. Woo! We now, granted, I go to a, there's a local place. Um, what's the place right there? Woods? Check. No, I've never bought crab meat from Woods. Pool of seafood? No, I definitely won't buy it from them. Oh, <laughs> I'm shut up. Um, <laughs> I bought stuff from them, not crab meat, though. Okay. Um, right there at Abercorn and um, at the Railroad Track. Okay, I don't remember. I go. I buy some from them. Okay. They have some good local crab meat. Okay, what kind of crab meat is that? It's blue crab, lump crab it's meat. Lump crab meat, not jumbo lump. Not the jumbo, jumbo lump. Would have been fifty dollars. Dan, he said, "You get that gout. Don't let that gout get you." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what I'm gonna do now? Hey, well, I need I'm a little bit more cheese across the top of that thing. All right, hey, Russo's. Is yeah, Russo's, Tia Sanders Green. Yeah, Russo's, that's right. <laughs> Tia knows. That's Tia it. knows. I go there and get the crab meat. Thank you, Tia. Thank you, Tia. You wanna, why don't you swing on by and get some of this crab dip, Tia? Don't play with that, girl. Since, since you uh, helped me out. Thank you for the stars, Josephine. Ooh, that thing piled high. It's piled a mile high. Donna, that's a million dollar dish right there. What's, I don't know, Cheryl. They need to put a smile on their face. It may be accidents. Um, Jumbo Lump and right, Baton Rouge so is $35 a pound. Jesus Christ. That's Elizabeth Gilly. Mm. Okay, so we sprinkle a little old bit on top of it. And because I know it's going to act up. It's going to act up as in boil over. Boil over. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to put a little pan and we're going to put some parchment paper so I don't have to work hard to clean this pan. Right. Let me wash my hands right quick. Okay. Thank you for the stars. It's going to cook. It's going to go in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, guys, at 400. All right, now. Diane, a uh, girl said she have gout, too. She take a pill and go on. I know that's right, girl. Yeah. I said, don't let that gout get you. You get that gout. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have a plan for that thing. All right, All right. so I put this parchment paper. Help my pan. Boom. We're going to stick this in at 400. Thank you, Mary Shitty. What'd you call her? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's C H I T T Y. How you say that? Ch Chitty. I did what I said. No, you didn't. What I say? I ain't gonna say what you said. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I know it's not hard, but <laughs> uh, all right. Michael T. Robinson said black uh blackberry black cherry concentrate for the gal. My mother in law uses that. You are correct, Michael. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda Blue. Mom just used the regular cherry, didn't she? Yes, just regular organic yeah, cherry juice. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Marilyn Ross. All I right. take a gout preventative pill every night, Elizabeth Gillian. You know what helps help gout, too? What? I've been told. Kip. Disclaimer, y'all. He is not no, he's not giving any medical advice. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a specialist when it comes to <laughs> 
Do it is the day to take the God away. No. <laughs> so what are we using for the dipping so vessels? Christine's. Hey, Karen Cunningham. I got some French bread. I just bought it at the local Publix. At the local Publix. If you, you have a Publix, if you don't, go to your local grocery. Uh, why is it that everybody gives these major brand stores nicknames? Tarjay, K. Rogers. Baby, we gotta start saying K. Rogers. What's a K. Rogers? Kroger. Oh, I ain't heard that one. That's your boy Willie Price. <laughs> <laughs> he call it K. Rogers. Big Willie style. Big Willie style. Okay, let me get some bread from him. Uh, Tia say inbox the address. She ain't playing with Pool. <laughs> she ain't playing with Pool of PD tonight. She know. <laughs> Thank you for the stars. Just Tavia Fuller, Hattie right. laughing. Hey Hattie. All right, so we're gonna take some French bread and uh, we're just gonna cut some crustinis right quick. And you're cutting at an angle just for the bias. Uh, Angle tart cherry juice, Gilmore said yes. Belinda R. Maynard looks delicious. Thank you so much. Yeah, he called it K. Roger. K. Roger. So Publix is called Publix. Publix. It's we frying fish tomorrow. Cup. Russell, what time? Russell frying fish. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> what you say, baby? Mm. That <laughs> they crab. Um, I think that. we're gonna be going live from Russell's. <laughs> Baby, we ain't got to cook. We just stand there and watch the fish come out. Kip, you sure look nice tonight. Judy Mike Wilborn said. Oh, okay. Shoot. Diane mean, Wallace said. This shirt again. I've, I had several strokes. I can't have nothing. The doctor. I drink some cherry juice or eat cherries. Okay. She has got to. Yes, Diane Wallace will do what you have to do to keep it under control, sis. My mom has got. To. Yes, she does. But she, 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 Kip. She, she has a couple of minutes. No, she don't. She don't do it on camera because she don't want everybody to know. You me. ain't finna lie on my, now you jumped on me about your mama uh, Wednesday I, night. I know my mama longer than you have. I know what I do. do. You, I hope you have. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Vicky All right. Spencer. All right, so what we're going to do is. We Russell gonna do, say 6 o'clock, baby. 6 o'clock tomorrow evening? Yes, I think that's the invite. All right, Russ. I'm going to call you tomorrow, brother. Marion Jackson said, have we made lasagna? We have not. Not on live. But Kip makes a mean make veggie some, lasagna. I make it not just veggie, baby. Everything. Yeah, yeah. We put meat in there, too. Elizabeth said, your mama going to whoop you. No, she ain't. Mama, Russell said, let them know. We welcome. I'm mama's baby. And ain't, ain't no maybe, <laughs> either. Ain't no daddy's baby. I look like I look like my daddy. Okay, everybody I look calm. like my granddaddy too. Everybody calm down. Oh, my daddy's baby. Mama, see that she going at you again. <laughs> Ty, you been going in on mama. You said she couldn't good dressing up. Uh-uh, stay focused. Now she don't want a baby that bread like mama was out on the street. Donna say you talk so giving much Giving things trash. away. <laughs> oh, y'all right. help me. Hey, Carol Dunn. I mean, time, to, time to dip, but I'm okay. Um, it's been in about five minutes, right? Yeah. So we'll take it out of Been missing you guys. Going through a little something, but I will be back in action. Carol Dunn, prayer, sis. Yes, do Carol. whatever you got to do. We're going to send you some love right now. Yes. Love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Thank you, Judy. Uh, <laughs> Deborah say, Kip, Kip. <laughs> Russell right. say, Richard is home. Okay. I'm, I'm coming by. Ty, we're going to swing by. All right. All right. Hey, um. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a little bit of the garlic cloves. I think y'all have seen me do this before. Ooh. Uh, and smile. I'm going to take the garlic. Ah, well, I ain't going to use that one. <laughs> that one bit the dust. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Okay, we're going to take the garlic, rub it on the bread. And that just gives a better essence of garlic. Yeah, it does. Um. Yeah, it does. Michael Robinson said we should do a uh, seafood lasagna. Not with that crab meat. <laughs> no, man. That crab meat is hard. Ooh, I need to find a crab man. <laughs> a crab lady or something. <laughs> Somebody that's crabbing. Hey, Angela Chase. All right, so we're going to put a little garlic. Rub that on there. And then when it comes out, Guess what? I'm going to rub it one more time. You going to rub it again? I'm going to rub it again. And that's just a clove of fresh garlic. Nothing roasted or that's anything. Up. You sure your daddy's son. You got his personality. That's your cousin, Beverly Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'm here. I'm all my little bacon seniors, baby boy. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, Karen. Uh, S. McPaul. Okay, so I got that, and now I'm going to take out another pen and I'll put it on there. Uh, Vanessa say you feed the cheer long enough, they look like it. Vanessa? <laughs> Y'all don't, don't egg fit. him on. It ain't because he fed me. Uh, Diane said vinegar and pickle juice is good for guys. It's because him and mama got together on a special date one night. Kip. Back in 67. Kip, stay focused. No, that was in 66 because I came with like five months. Donna say, I'm going to have to whoop you with that talking shoe if you don't calm down. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> Jeanna say, right. uh, Abner Lee say wine is good for gout. Y'all, listen. They think I'm lying, don't they? I didn't do my research. I think you lying. I've been trying to talk my mama into drinking more. Red wine, babe? This wine. I'm, I'm going to have to research you that thing. Drink, you can drink Papa's wine from the old shed. <laughs> hey, Paula Peterson. We're, right. we're doing a spinach, crab, artichoke dip that's in the oven. Donna say they look dope, Kip. <laughs> Gail said, "Keep that apron on. You do look nice." All right, Gail, they talk about my my chest hair tonight. Mm -mm, she said, "All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Pour a little bit of that on there." <laughs> Karen said, "Please not the talking shoe." <laughs> Y'all know I still got that video. All right, baby. All right, all right, all right. everybody stay focused. I got some pictures of you. <laughs> Cute, <Keep>, y'all. <laughs> I got some pictures. It's going down for real. I wouldn't do that. Da, 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 da. I know it. So the only thing I am going to put on there is a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Hey, Willie Kirkland Jr. Bread, because I like it on there. Donna say gout is a form of old arthritis. Right. It's inflammation. Inflammation. And what I've been taught is. Woo. That thing coming together like a real deal. Cloud Holy two day. Field. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that bread and let it toast up a little bit. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Like, got to be more got careful. Be more careful. Uh, thank you, Patricia right. Harris. Batman, <laughs> leave the door open. Hey, Sharon Brown, I'm going to leave that door open. All right, so I got it done. and uh, We're just waiting on some browning action. I'm going to chop up a little parsley to go on top of it. When now, it up. babe, yeah. we're going to have to let that sit a minute. We can't taste no, it. Oh, I'm going in. Kip. I'm going straight in when it come out. The meat in the top of your mouth is going to be hanging That's in right. and dangling. I'm pay the price. I'm, sometimes you pay the price for something good, baby. All right. You can have that one. Gail Moore said, my man needs to sling that bottle towards you to keep that mouth closed. <laughs> Gail. <Yeah. laughs> See this? <laughs> All right. All right. So I washed me up a little parsley, curly parsley. I have a debate with people sometimes. What's the um, debate? <laughs> Excuse me, curly parsley. I ain't got that COVID. <laughs> curly, curly parsley. Disclaimer. Curly parsley versus flat. Okay. They just had a good deal on the on the curly the other day, and I bought a bunch of it. Okay. But flat has a much better flavor than curly parsley. Okay. And parsley, it just let's let's debate this. This really don't have a good flavor. It's pretty. Yeah. So the flat parsley has good flavor, mm -hmm. as in. It's used to eat and not to decorate or to... No, you can decorate with it. I'll okay. chop it up too. <laughs> Hangling and dangling. Carol, that's what... You know you that... that meat in your mouth? That meat in top of your mouth? It'll happen. And listen, say you got an iron mouth. It, I, I, I've been a victim. I'm a victim. More than one. Of the very <laughs> <laughs> songs I, I sing. I've been a victim plenty of times. <laughs> dun, 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 so, dun. You got to watch that parsley too because it comes right out of the dirt. So I just get mine washed when I first get it in. Okay, so I got a little parsley that I'm going to go on top of. Dorothy it. said gout comes from eating rich foods. That yeah, but I think uric acid, uric that acid that's, level. That's, that's, yes, that's what I guess that. That's the cause. Well, the your cause. uric acid levels when you have a flare, we call them gout flares. Mm -hmm. They're usually elevated, and you take a is it Coca Chin? C O L C H I N E. That's the medication, and usually a, oh, a, a dose of prednisone, a I tapering prednisone. Thank you, Josephine. Um, but yes, so the flare, depending on how bad it is, it can have your toe swole, your ankle. It usually. Mama do pretty good, though. Yeah, your mama do pretty good. It usually attacks your joints. 
Why is we talking about what gout is? I don't know, baby, you brought it up. Well, no, you brought it up. Mm -mm. Hey, Lynn Hardy. Thank you for joining. Ty, you be on point with the songs. Okay, so yes. We got, how much song we got? We got about eight, 10 more minutes. Elissa said she put you, she seen you put that hot chicken in your mouth. That's why she know you got to iron out. I tell you, I ain't never scared. What? I ain't never scared. <laughs> hey. I go at it. Thank you all for joining us. We got almost 300, if y'all don't mind. If you like what you see, yeah, you please share. Share, share, share. share, share. share Make sure you're following. I'm excited about this dip. Hey, what I really want to do, y'all, I want to get our YouTube following to a thousand. We're not there yet. I turn the uh, light on. on. Yes. So, uh, if any of you guys on, on here and you have, uh, you don't have to have subscribe to YouTube and none of that stuff. Event. Well, yeah, you do it too. To yeah. Subscribe. Yes. But it doesn't cost anything. Just go on there and uh, hit the bell. Cooking with Kip. Lynn, cooking with Kip Bacon. Uh, Lynn Hardy is on. She's a healthcare professional as well. Who has gout? A few of our followers have gout. Lynn, um, oh, she got some suggestions for us. Yes, Kyle, is it Valles? Vavalis? We cooking a um, artichoke crab spinach dip. It's in the oven. Thank you, Dora McKnight, for sharing. Uh, come seafood and red meat, the coca chin and aloe pure. No, that's it. The crease of your rig acid. Go on, Vicky. Two snaps and a okay. All right. <laughs> we gonna school y'all in right. in chin tonight. We become that channel now. Yeah. <laughs> Not only do we feed you, but we give you some great advice. Great advice. Gianna, drink plenty of water, milk, tart cherry juice, and even coffee helps gout. The wine comment was Kip's assumption. Get on them, Gianna. Y'all see that face? That's that. that I can't be wrong assumption. face. <laughs> That ain't my assumption. That's real deal. Holy feel. Holy feel. All right. I had that gout, and I got rid of it. Kip, you better hush. You ain't never had no doggone gout. <laughs> I got rid of it. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Jackson, for sharing. Uh, Carol Dunn, okay, sis. Hey, Bridget Donaldson. Okay. You know he get to moving Ooh. fast. He thinks something burning. Do y'all see this? It's coming together, baby. All right. Everybody calm together. down. All right. It's coming together, y'all. It's going to be good. You can't rush. Some things you can't rush. Can't rush. Hey, Georgia Cole. In the meantime, in between times, I think I would need to go nap up. You gonna re up? Headed up town to re up. So if, if you know, if you're having guests over and you're having a wine party, you know everybody's drinking wine. Everybody get glass, and we don't know we don't be drinking each other's wine. We COVID what, friendly. What you do is. <laughs> Thank you, Yvette. Thank you for the stars, Mildred. You go buy a store, like. Hobby Lobby, um, Home Goods, Michaels, maybe some beverage stores. You get a little marker, and you write your you name. Write everybody's name on the glass. Now do that wash off, cause them people ain't getting my glasses. Oh, I don't know if it wash off or not. All right, stay no, focused. I'm kidding. <laughs> it easily washes off. <laughs> she was say leave Kip alone. Uh, Gail, Gail says she take aloe pure now. Everybody's pump your brakes a minute. I think I see my friend. Who's that? Uh, two groovy nails just tuned in. We got to say, hey. Really, Kip? I know who two groovy nails are. Hey, Renee and Michael over there in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Home of the Jackson Tigers. Coach Dion Sanders. You said better, that Y'all better be Bethune Cookman tomorrow because they're sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sipping with you, Kip. Sharon Brown, you were right. never alone. Okay, so we're getting there. Cloud today. If y'all could smell this. Mm, the aroma. The aroma. I like the way it's bellying up. What do you mean bellying I up? Wanted that, I did it like that because I wanted to belly up. But <laughs> I wanted to, you know, ooze over. <laughs> Elizabeth Gillian said Coach Prime. Coach Prime. Yes, sir. Coach Prime is it. Uh, is it hey, Maritina so Whitfield? Good evening. I'll come over and cook for the team one day. Put that plug in. Yeah, coach on the roller school, a roller later, baby. Coach taking the weekend off. He is. He can't coach this weekend. Karen Cunningham. Okay, sis, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inbox you our um, address. I appreciate it. There, is it, is it Doral McKnight Sims? Okay, I put the line up. They can say Tennessee spanked Dion. No, they didn't. Did they did? Tennessee State didn't beat them. Y'all, y'all. Please know that Kip is a sports aficionado. The only team to beat them is uh, Louisiana, whatever. 
Trisha, 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 Trisha Ann. TSU has a decent team, but they got tore up. What you say? What they tore got? Tore up. <laughs> they Thank got you. tore up. Hey, Joanne. Up in Memphis at the Liberty Bowl. Joanne, so Vicky. I don't know where she get her information. Vicky <laughs> Spencer done got Kip started. Everybody calm Vicky, down. I don't know where you, Vicky, you need to put that ball down. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Neil. Cindy Bowens, y'all are so funny. I'm kind of new, so what is a talking shoe? Cindy. Oh, Cindy. <laughs> Curious minds want to know. That that was Everybody calm down. He just got serious Maritina Whitfield seen your eyes. <laughs> Baby, you weren't playing by that. My shoe dry rod at one weekend. Two Let years. me go get the video. No, you ain't going to get the video. <laughs> Time you settle down. <laughs> Stay right there in your spot. Tell me your business. Cheryl E. Smith, shoe, please my share. My shoe came apart and I'm walking around like that. <laughs> <laughs> propped up and the shoe just a dangling. He was mad at the thought that people hadn't seen his shoe standing there dangling. Yeah, I got, I'm just stay yeah, focused. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Claudine. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm getting hot. I think my croutons are probably ready. Uh, Cleo said, no Tennessee, we lost against them. Huh? We as in Who Jackson lost? State. Jackson State didn't lose against Tennessee. Everybody calm down. What you talking about? I don't know. Somebody Google and post the picture. Somebody call Eddie George and tell him why he did that. Then yeah, say check the food, <laughs> check the food. That is a thing. What are they talking about? Bay, I don't know. Everybody calm down. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be on the live in a minute. Come on. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Who lost? Who beat us? Oh, Cleo said Tennessee did lose. All right. Vicky. Yeah, okay. I'm Vicky. Out. Vicky. 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 Sis. Sis. <laughs> And you know I'm, I'm I like TSU because I like the no know, Elizabeth this I like the aristocratic bands when they come out there talking about da, everybody da, da, da. say everybody say this I'm so glad I go, I go to, to TSU JSU everybody. ASU hey you know what we got to do baby what two weeks from now we're gonna represent the HBCUs I'm a West Savannah State all right you're gonna wear Jack. All right. Okay. Uh, your cousin just jumped on. Savannah State alumni. Who's that? Uh, hey, Esther. Hey, Esther. Hey, Savannah State got a team right now. They got a team. Ooh, that SEAC ain't no joke. <laughs> they need to meet up with the champions of the, of the swag. Y'all don't know. Nothing get killed more excited besides me. Oh, excited, baby. <laughs> There's some sports, especially some football, basketball. Basketball is probably my first sport, but I ain't had nothing to cheer about with the Hawks. But they're coming back. This, Everybody. They, we, we get the team. I got to talk to Charles Barkley because last night he was talking about they really ain't that good about so. Uh know. Danette said her husband is a boomer sooner. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Yeah, they, you know, they try to be good. Don't talk about the man team <laughs> like that. Everybody stay focused. Okay. So the okay, prestige I'm ready is already. Bring this out, baby. Okay. Bring it out. Uh, Everybody. I need to put that. Hey, Bridget Harris. Get the cooking kill, <laughs> Kelly Sainz. Okay. Go ahead, cook it. Yeah. I'm, y'all done got me warm. Okay. Thank you for the stars, Georgia Cole. You know somebody's going to send me a message this week, baby. About what? Every now and then I get this message to say, you talk too much. <laughs> Just, cook. Just cook. Just cook. Hello, and then it, Johnson. Oh, no, boy. They cold-blooded. So these are the, uh, he took some fresh garlic cro- cloves and rubbed them on the bread with some extra virgin olive oil and toasted them up. We're going to use these as scooping vessels for this nice crab dip. Um, hello, Alicia Dotson. Bridget Harris says, good evening. Danette said, oh no, B, we love you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check the dip, Donna say. Dip fire, Donna. I got this dip, Donna. <laughs> it's to say, bring in the fire. All right. So, we're going to put the... 38-16. What's that score, Gianna? Is that Tennessee and, and, and Jackson State? Yeah, because I, I don't know. Ooh, that. y'all getting him fired. I don't know if I want to read this comment from our lovely Christian, like, <laughs> sister, Joanne Renfro, say, we in the house coming back. Not in this lifetime. <laughs> I thought we were cool. You know okay, she. So hey, 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 hey! Cowboys start getting their butts kicked. <laughs> Cause this gonna happen. I ain't got nothing to talk about. Cause I know the Falcons ain't going nowhere. But 
But when that <laughs> fall apart, I'm coming at you, Joey. Dak Prescott is good. Crab and fish go good together, Russell say. Hey, Janice, Russian okay. Hines. It is 9.50. 54. Yeah, usually we come out, of, we finish up at 10. Maritina Whitfield. Okay, everybody calm down. Okay, I'm coming in. But he got to go close that oven, though. <laughs> All right. Make it rain, baby. That's what I was just playing. Dang, Kip, stay focused. That's <laughs> big enough. Stirred you up. Got your pressure up. Your heart racing. Trying to mess with me. Hey, Claudine Hamilton. He's drinking a uh, Chardonnay. Napa, Napa Valley. Uh oh. Michael T. Robinson said, "Don't do his Dallas, Dallas Cowboys kill." Oh, yeah, he all right yeah. with you, but you hey, can't. we cool, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bird. Thank you, Kelly Sane. And a, you know, I like that. Y'all tell Kip he don't need to taste this dip just yet. Yes, I do. Marion said, "You don't talk too much, babe." I got to do it for the people. <laughs> the people don't want you to burn your slippers. I got to do it for the people. Joanne say, watch it, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> she say, watch it, sucker, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> In her Esther voice. Uh, Danette, my husband said Boomer Sooner, ranked number three in the country and undefeated above Alabama. But, but who number one, though? I'm just saying. Ask your husband who's number one. He, the babe, he was just making his point. No, I'm just saying who's number one. Okay, everybody calm down. I think down. they have a G on the helmet. <laughs> Lord, that dip looks so good. Lola done jumped in the kitchen, y'all. All right, I need me a spoon. We got to, we got to get in there. Eagles in the house. Regina Jarman said, "Hey, it's you a chef." Really good, Lola. Let's see. Let's dip, dip in there. Uh, Karen Connor said, "How about them Ravens?" The Ravens. I like Ravens. I like old boy. You want to taste it, Lola? Lola say, "Lola ate sure too, hot. too pristine." Is it hot, Lola? It didn't look like it in that She said, give us a mo. <laughs> Thank you, Josephine. Huh? See if it's hot. I check. It's hot? Too hot? Detroit Lions, Kelsey Skipper. Lola's hot and my hot two different hots. Let it poofed. Lord, Lord. Yeah, it did poof up, didn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Babe, I was supposed to get you on camera. It ain't too hot to eat, huh? Mm, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my God, that looks delicious! Thank you, Jen. Mm. Is it Gianna, mm. Gianni, Abner? The lime juice, baby. Everybody eating but me. That's what the talkers do. Okay, I'm gonna taste it, y'all. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I think I got a chicken, chicken, and I got a winner, winner. <laughs> chicken, chicken, winner, winner, chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> Close the cabinet behind him. Alicia Dotson, we're gonna post the recipe. This Dog, I wish I was low. She got first dip. I know, and she coming back for more. That's a big dip, yeah. That's a huge man, dip. Man, if I had like five, six, seven, eight friends right now, we play some spades, <laughs> drink some wine, talk some trash, and eat some dip. Hey y'all, that's it right there. So I gave you the recipe, but we're gonna, I'm gonna type it up and put it on. I know sometimes I don't get around to it, but we're gonna do it. So what was it? It's a pound of crab meat. It was a half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayonnaise. It was about a uh, 14-ounce can of artichoke dip chopped up roughly. Um, splash of Worcestershire sauce. Um, salt to taste. Old Bay. About a tablespoon of Old Bay. I put about a tablespoon and a half for me. Um, a little splash of hot sauce. And um, about a pound and a half of cheese. Mm. And I put some cheese in the mixture, tossed it in as I whipped it up, and then I covered it with the mixture on top. And Lord, today. Lord, today. Do y'all see this, champ? Babe, we didn't take no picture. Hey, you done dipped up in there. Get in there. Donna said you forgot your cream cheese. Uh, out, uh, eight ounce. Eight ounce. Yeah, half a pound of cream cheese. Thank eight you, ounce Donna. is half a pound? 16 ounce? Okay, everybody stay focused. <laughs> Gosh, don't put your stuff out there like that. God, oh my. <laughs> Don't let Why know. you just couldn't say eight ounces, baby? I don't know. Thank you all. <laughs> Y'all, it's been a plump pleasure. pleasure. We get ready to get out of here. It's Friday night. It's after dark. We get ready to eat some dip. You know what? I might play my, my ladies in some cars tonight. Just all have right. a little fun with them. Let's do that. And, um, and babe, tomorrow, what's tomorrow, up with them Braves? Braves got to win tomorrow, y'all. We got to get to the we got to get to the dance. And spinach. Denise said you left out the spinach. I left out the spinach. I did. I Come on, Janice. 
Taisha. We, we not typing Taisha. up. Taisha. Don't, don't type my full name. I said eight ounces, half a pound. <laughs> you know? Oh, Lord, right, today. Get ready to go. Thank you. Hey, Janice Macy. We'll try it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We'll see y'all tomorrow no, night. It's a pleasure. As well as a privilege. But keep that smile on your face because it makes the world go round, y'all. Uh-huh. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Good night. We love y'all. See y'all tomorrow.